Using the freeze track option here in Logic Pro can really help out, especially if you're running out of processing power or memory on your iPad. So in this video, I'm gonna show you everything you need to know about freezing tracks. Let's go. To learn a heap more about creating, recording, and releasing your best music in Logic Pro for iPad, check out the other videos linked in the description. What is freezing a track and why would you do it? Freezing a track converts each track into a high resolution audio file. This means that instead of it having to process all of the virtual instrument settings, all of your plugin settings, they're all frozen in time and you can't make any changes to them until you unfreeze the track. Now this is useful because it uses a whole lot less processing power and a whole lot less memory. So it means your Logic Pro is going to run a lot more efficiently. So how do you freeze a track? Well, first of all, we need to add the freeze button to our track header. To do that, we're going to tap on the three dots here in the top left, tap on customize track header and turn on freeze. And if we tap off, you'll notice that we now have this button, the freeze button. When we tap it, it's going to turn blue and we can freeze a track. Let's freeze this piano track and show you how it works. Once you freeze a track, the next time you go to play the track, it's going to render that file, which means it's going to turn that track into an audio file. Let's hit play and I'll show you what it does. So now the track is going to go through and freeze that track. It's basically exporting a WAV file and replacing all the processing, all the session instrument and all the plugins on this track with a separate audio file. Now we can hit play again. And this piano is now no longer actually being processed through the plugins. In fact, if we tap down the bottom here on plugins, you'll see that it says plugins are frozen. And this means that all of these plugins that you're running here, your reverbs and all of your studio instruments are not having to be processed. It's just playing back an audio file. And that's why freezing your tracks can be so useful. To freeze multiple tracks, we just do the same thing. If we want all of these four tracks to be frozen, we tap the freeze button. And again, when we hit play, it will render all these down and freeze these tracks. And that is done. And yes, if you're wondering, this is exactly what the old optimizing performance used to do in GarageBand, if that's giving you some flashbacks about this process. But the beauty of this is you're in control. Unless, of course, you don't want to have control, in which case you can use auto freeze. To do that, we're going to tap in the top right, jump into settings, and the setting you're looking for is under app settings, audio, and general. It's a little bit hidden here, and we can turn this on auto freeze. So with auto freeze on, whenever Logic Pro runs too low on resources, it will automatically freeze tracks when it needs to. So this is basically like enabling the old optimizing performance and it will automatically do that. This can be useful if you don't want to have to manage tracks and freeze them individually, but it can also be a bit frustrating if you're right in the middle of something and you're capturing the vibe and then auto freeze kicks in. So use it with caution, but it's there if you want it. And finally, an expert tip if you want some advanced freezing options and that is that we can go into our inspector by tapping in the middle button here on the bottom left and we can actually change the freeze mode to do that we tap up the top here to change this from region back to track with more enabled here by tapping a little arrow down there you'll see that we have freeze mode you can choose between pre-fader or source only if we change this to source only it means that it's only going to freeze the source it won't freeze things like your plugins, you'll still be able to change those. But if you've got a software instrument like the studio piano, or maybe an external instrument that's using a whole lot of processing, this can be a great way to save on some resources while still being able to adjust your plugins. Or we can change it back to the default by tapping and going to pre-fader. And what this does is it actually freezes in everything, including all of your plugins and all of the processing on that audio track. And that's everything you need to know about how to use the freeze track function you won't always need it until you do. So hopefully you can put this away in your kit bag of information and call upon it when you need it. If you'd like to learn a whole lot more about all the session players and all the different plugins and ways you can create in Logic Pro for iPad, check out the other videos in the description and I'll see you next time.